Hey guys, Christy here from Christy Velazquez Art. Today I'm going to be doing a resin painting on this really cool um, acrylic round. This is a 12 inch, um, it's made out of very thin um, acrylic plastic and it has, it had this protective sheet on both sides. I've peeled, I have peeled the protective sheet off the front and this is where I'm gonna pour um, and do some resin art on it. And then once that dries, I'll come and peel the back off. And so if any drips come around the back, they'll just peel right off with this protective layer. So I thought it would, would be cool to try pouring on um, this acrylic round and we'll see what we get. So the colors I'm gonna be using today are Resin Art. This is Fantasy Fuchsia. I'm kinda going for a peacock theme here. And then I've got Color Obsession Peacock Blue Shimmer. And then we've got Color Obsession 001, is it 001? Yep, 001 Copper. So I'm gonna get my resin mixed up, my respirator on, and we'll come back and we will pour on this acrylic round. So to start, I'm going to lay down some pretty thick lines of my different colors here right in the middle of the board. So I laid down that blue color first, and then I'm coming in with what I thought was going to be purple, uh, but when I mixed it up with the, re the resin, it was a pretty vibrant pink color, uh, but that's okay. I, I, I just went with it, um, so not really a peacock theme here, but it <clears throat> looks a little more red, red, white, and blue on here, but it ended up looking okay. So I added <clears throat> along uh, both edges some stone coat white base tint that I added to my resin and then I added the gold right down the middle of the blue and the red and with you know stone coat base tints you want to push your other colors over the white tint and that's what gives you your cells so that's what I'm doing here I'm using my heat tool and I'm just uh, pushing the color over the white base tint to uh, try to create some cells and see uh, what other effects that I can get. And this, these two colors did mix a bit and they did give me a little bit of purple, um, but the pink and the blue did stay pretty true to the color you see on the screen. I did notice that because this is a very thin piece of acrylic plastic, I think this board was only a fourth of an inch thick, so very thin, um, that as I heated up my resin to get it to move around on the board, the board itself did begin to buckle um, and warp a bit, so the resin started moving around the board more on its own. But when I put it into the dust-free zone to dry, the board went back to flat. So I'm just thinking that as you heat the board up, it does get a little pliable and bendy. I think if I had had a thicker piece of acrylic, I wouldn't have had that happen while I was working on the piece. But it didn't affect the, the end result. But um, just something to note, uh, I think a thicker piece of acrylic would work better for this technique.
Okay, so here it is dry. Uh, you can see that um, it did drip. Some of the drips stuck onto the back. But I took my tweezers and I got underneath this back plastic piece just to give me something to grab onto and pull off. It was very easy to get off once I got it started. And all of the drips came off with this piece of plastic backing. So it gave the final piece a, a really nice, clean, crisp edge. It was really cool how the acrylic dried on the top of this piece of uh, this acrylic round. And each side was um, a different design. So the side that I poured the resin on um, was sort of three-dimensional because the resin was sitting on top of that acrylic. And then the back was a, like a muted version of it. So I think you could display this either side. Um, I really, really love how this turned out. Really neat that the, the round that you're using to create this piece of art is clear like that. So I can see tons of possibilities for um, using this in your artwork.